Hey guys, what's up? Ross here from Pure Outside. We're heading out on another waterfall mission to Upper Bannon Falls. Today we're going to try and find the falls, get some drier photos this time. We were here a couple months ago and it was absolutely soaking wet, so drier photos today, probably a little bit better photos. We're also going to check out some new sunglasses from Jolbo. Absolutely love hiking in these kind of sunglasses. They are right in my pocket right now because we're about to do a bunch of bushwhacking, but as soon as we get into the uh, more open forest over there, those sunglasses will go on, protect the eyes, and uh, if it were sunny out, they'd be doing their part. So, first up, some bushwhacking, straight through there. Okay, so we've made it out of the bushwhack. Now it's just like this stuff. Big open second growth. Tons of blow down though. It's hard walking over. As you can hear by my breathing. Um, a good amount of work, but we're going straight up that hill. We're not gonna go over there like last time because the river's over there, but the falls are up there. So let's go straight to the falls. All right, so we made it to the falls here. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's hailing a little bit, but it's much drier than it was the other day. Um, yeah, it is a pretty falls. Not a bad spot. The whole falls continue. There's a few smaller ones up above. There's a few smaller ones down below. This is the biggest one right in the middle.
<clears throat> so today I wanted to talk about the Jobo Arise sunglasses for this review. Uh, what makes the Jobo Arise special and a lot of the Jobos is that they've got photochromatic lenses in them. So what's photochromatic mean? So photochromatic lenses change with the light. They, when it's sunny outside, they darken. And when it's not so sunny outside, like right now, it's decided to hail and cloud over a little bit, they uh, lighten up. So every lens has a category that it goes from and to as it reacts to the light. That's why they're called the reactive lenses. These particular lenses on this version are the one to three category. So they'll go fairly light. Uh, so you can ride in the dim trees or hike in the trees uh, or wear them on cloudy days, no problem. And then they'll darken down when it gets brighter out. Glacier goggles, sunglasses for really bright days are gonna be about a category four. They recommend you don't even drive with them. They're so dark. These won't go that dark, but they'll go plenty dark enough for most of the sunny days. <clears throat> so these will go from category one to category three. They do that in a few seconds so you can be riding and go into some trees and they'll uh, brighten up for you. And when you pop back out of the trees, they will darken down when you're into the sunshine. So really nice for driving, hiking, riding, anything that goes in and out of shady spots or the, the sun's getting covered up by the clouds. These work really well for those. So that's the category one to three of the Arise and the reactive performance lenses. So we switch over to these puppies right here, exact same glasses, but we've just got the reactive performance zero to three lenses. So you see, we've got a bit of light out here. They were sitting in the car as well and they're a little bit darker. And these ones go from category zero to three. So you can essentially ride in the dark, really early morning. You can go through uh, light, like uh, really dark trees like this. The, the, what's gonna darken them down is the sunlight. So if there's a lot of sunlight coming through still, like right now it's not very light out, but there still is some light coming through, it's gonna darken these down. So they arise, both pairs, I tend to wear these ones a little bit more with the uh, mirrored lenses on them, are my absolute favorite lenses. They've got cores in the arms, so you can bend them a little bit and shape them to your head. They've got a little bit of a shapeable, grippy nose piece. A little bit of venting down the side here, but they're just amazingly light, and they've got that photochromatic lens in them. I think every pair of sunglasses should be photochromatic. It just makes wearing sunglasses so much better. You don't have to take them on and off and on and off. You just leave them on and poof, they react to the light. The lenses are an NXT material. It's a cast plastic. The photochromatic dye is inside from the start, the material of the lens. So it can't be scratched off. You can't uh, wipe it off or anything like that over time. It's inside the lens. The interior is an anti-fog coating. The exterior is an oil repellent coating. Makes water bead off a little bit better. Uh, it prevents uh, smudging and fingerprints and stuff on there, although they do get on there. Makes it easier to clean when they do get on there. The Jobo Arise sunglasses with the photochromatic lenses in it, category one to three and category zero to three are my absolute favorite sunglasses. They basically replace my favorite sunglasses from Jobo, the Jobo Nomads. Uh, I lost mine a little while ago and was heartbroken when that happened. But these are a very comfortable, easy to use pair of sunglasses that I wear all the time. You can even wear them right now when the sun's barely out and I think they look great. Thanks guys if you've liked this video with the little waterfall adventure at the beginning and the gear review at the end pop a like and subscribe down at the bottom and we'll see you soon.